Are we good? Go? Alright. Alright. Five. Four. Hi. I'm Alex Meyerchin, and I'm here uh, via satellite uh, from the Cheesecake Factory, and there's a 14-hour delay, so I won't be able to communicate back a back -a with you. Um, I just wanted to say that I wish I was there right now, and that, Nate, I really mean a happy birthday. Uh, you're a good buddy of mine. So, um, I wanted to show you what I look like in my natural environment before I beautify myself. Uh, so that way you get the honest truth from me, and also so Nate will no longer be in love with me once he sees this. Although I am wearing a wife beater. Um, so, I wanted to start off and say that, uh, like I said, I wish I could be there. And happy birthday, Nate. You really mean a lot to me. Um, and verbally, from here on out, uh, I'm going to share some stories and hopefully rip you a new asshole. So you can accommodate some more uh, herpes-ridden dicks uh, like you're used to. So that'll be fun. Uh, so I'll get started. I know Nate because we are members of uh, the same theater company. We worked on two shows uh, so far. Uh, our director wanted to kind of get an unattractive and untalented guy to balance out me a little bit. Uh, and so she f went to, uh, to Nate uh, since her boyfriend can't really act. So um, there, I, I remember there were times at like various rehearsals when uh, Nate would, you know, get drunk and shit from his mouth a little bit. But how awesome our show would, uh, there, there would be dancing. Like, if we had dancing in our show, that would be really awesome. Uh, the ironic part, though, is that Nate really can't dance. It kind of looks like a gay Kermit the Frog having a seizure, um, which has always been fun to see. Uh, also, Nate would, would also fart like crazy. If you've ever been around Nate uh, farting, you know, there, there, there's... It is the worst thing in the fucking world. Uh, the only thing more rotten than Nate's farts are Anna's eating habits. Uh, that's funny. I really hope you're laughing. Because I put in the laugh pause right there. And uh, I really hope you're laughing. So that's fun. I've gone to uh, clubs with Nate too. He always gets really hammered, but he never gets nailed. On, and on the rare occasion when he does get screwed, the guy will wake up and usually bolt. Uh, he's got a great talent for attracting the ugliest people in the gay bar, which is saying a lot, and they, it, it's a gross combination, the people coming at Nate at gay bars. Um, Nate also has a cat named Guido, and uh, if you've ever seen Guido, I would say, okay, I remember the first time that I ever met Guido, uh, I was over at Aaron Lane's place, and I walked in and I saw the hairiest, I kid you not, the hairiest, bushiest meaning looking cat ever turns out that was Erin lane's vagina and she had just gotten out of the shower um and then i walked into the living room and oh there's the cat right there um no see the, the there are some similarities though but the biggest difference between Erin lane's pussy and nate's pussy is that uh Aaron lane's pussy spits out dead babies yeah that's not good so um I'm gonna I'm gonna end with uh, the the topic of concern that I'm most worried about, uh, and that'd be Nate's sperm, because I know that uh, Nate's sperm has the fate of a special sperm, uh, meaning that it's either going to end up in a tissue or in some other guy's asshole. Uh, uh, there's that alarm again. Excuse me. Are you kidding me? Ah. No. No. Yeah. What is this, amateur hour? Fuck you. Um, Nate sperm. Uh, Nate sperm, like I said, will either end up in a tissue or into another man's asshole. Um, every time Nate, uh, his, his testicle, it swells to an, an abnormal size like they do sometime. Uh, that's his sperm really trying to es escape their, uh, their horrible, horrible fate that they're going to have. Um, see... I know that I have a special place in Nate's heart um, and in his spank bank, and I'm happy to come here via satellite to, uh, to talk to him. Uh, I know it takes bravery to have people come up here and harass you live and via satellite, uh, wife beater, and it also takes bravery to, uh, to look in the mirror 
and see Nate Stoner's face. So, Nate, uh, you're a gay piece of shit, but I love you, man. And I uh, hope that, uh, yeah, you have a good birthday. All right, bye, buddy.